The U.S. military has recently announced a massive purchase of Japanese seafood products, including tuna, salmon, squid, and shrimp, to stock up its bases and ships in the Pacific region. The move comes as a response to China's ban on importing seafood from Japan, which was imposed over concerns about radioactive contamination from the Fukushima nuclear disaster. China's ban has caused a significant drop in Japan's seafood exports, which were already struggling due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the decline in global demand. Japan is one of the world's largest seafood producers and consumers, and its fishing industry engages about 129,000 people. The ban has also affected the livelihoods of thousands of fishermen and processors in Japan's coastal areas, especially in the northeast region that was hit hard by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. The U.S. military's purchase is seen as a gesture of solidarity and support for its ally Japan, as well as a strategic move to counter China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific region. The U.S. and Japan have a long-standing security alliance that dates back to the end of World War II, and they share common interests and values in what they believe is maintaining a free and open order in the region. The U.S. also relies on Japan as a key partner in dealing with the nuclear threat from North Korea and the challenges posed by China's military expansion and economic influence. However, the U.S. military's purchase could also have negative consequences for its relationship with China, which is already strained by a series of disputes over trade, human rights, Taiwan, Xinjiang, and disputes in the South China Sea. China views Japan as a rival and a potential threat, especially since Japan has increased its defense spending and capabilities in recent years. China also considers the U.S. military presence in Japan as an obstacle to its regional ambitions and a source of instability and provocation. In conclusion, the U.S. military's purchase of Japanese seafood may have been another source of friction. While it could strengthen the U.S.-Japan alliance and help Japan's fishing industry recover from the impact of China's ban, it could also worsen the U.S.-China tensions and trigger more conflicts or confrontations in the region. Let me know your thoughts and be sure to subscribe.